Smurf? No, Handy. Say, I just finished my chore, so how about a game of Smurf ball? Can't. Have to mow these weeds. And they be driving me snappy. <laughs> hey, Jokey, join me for a swim? Swim? <laughs> I get to cut all this firewood. And that's no joke. Greedy Smurf, how would you like to... Sorry, Handy. I'm too busy. Uh, what's smurfing, Handy? Forget it. If only there was a faster way for us smurfs to get our work done. I know. I'll invent a way. <laughs> Why all the excitement for a fest? Ooh, Handy's fixing a surprise for us. I hate surprises. Attention, Smurfs! You see before you an invention to take all the work out of work. A clockwork smurf. Huh? Just set clockwork smurf's button for whatever kind of work you have to do. And clockwork smurf will do it for you. That contraption be as strong as a hundred smurfs. Handy, old pal. Can I use him next? No, I have him next. Oh, oh, no. Oh, hold it, hold it. I want Papa Smurf to have the honor of using him first. Why, thank you, Handy. I do have a little kink in my back. Perhaps a gentle massage. A little to the right. <laughs> a little to the left. <laughs> ah, right there. Like a new smurf. Next. Oh, uh, just a pinch less sugar in the next batch, Clockwork Smurf. <laughs> I have to watch the old Smurf line, you know. <laughs> oh, Clockwork Smurf, you can do so many things. I hate doing things that the Clockwork Smurf can do better. I wonder what makes this thing tick. I'll just sneak a peek. <laughs> Clockwork Smurf! Where are you? Uh-oh. Clockwork Smurf! Oh, there you are! I don't know, 
but you must put things right again before the whole village is destroyed. I'm afraid we'll have to use force to stop him. Ooh, poor clockwork. But I give the word, we'll pounce. <laughs> Smurf him! <laughs> Sorry, Smurf. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. Huh? My most brilliant creation, a failure. What could have gone wrong? It wasn't your fault, Handy. You smurfed your best. The poor little fellow has been so ill for so long. Oh, yes, but he will be well enough to attend this coronation, won't he? Mrs. Sowerberry, we can only pray. Oh, how sad. But some hot food is just what he needs, so all... Oh, he's still much too sick for visitors. But I shall see that he eats every drop. Oh, thank you, milady. Oh, little talk. He's been sick for so long. Everything is going according to plan. By this time tomorrow, I, Imperia, shall be queen. Ha, 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 ha. Ulrich! You rang, me lady. Here is something for your dog. Now, take this pot of disgusting gruel to the precious little prince, as usual. <laughs> yes, me lady. And at midnight, when everyone's asleep, we will sneak the rat to the secret dungeon under the moat. Tomorrow, we will announce that his three years of illness have come to a final tragic end. Then, as the law decrees, I shall be crowned queen. <laughs> Good evening, your royal lowness. <laughs> I bring you glad tidings at midnight. We're moving you to chambers more befitting a young king. Really? Yes, a place without such drafty windows. In fact, with no windows at all. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, Ulrich. I shall have my day. Oh, you'll have many, many days. All spent in the dungeon. <laughs> Enjoy your coronation feast. <laughs> what am I to do? What have they done? Put a snake in my gruel? What, what a clever little doll. I don't know how you got here, but you're stuck with me now. Me, the rats. Huh? What are you trying to tell me? You're not only clever, you're a genius. Oh. 
After all these years. Who are you, child? And how did you get into this castle? Tis I, Prince Gerard. Remember? Sure. And I suppose those rags you wear are the lightest royal fashion. But let me explain. Here, young man. Take these cookies and be gone. But, but I can... You'd best trot yourself home before the guards spot you. And don't sneak in here again. But... Oh... It's no use. Who in the world would believe a ragamuffin like me could be a prince? If only I could find some friends. Midnight. Time to escort Prince Gerard to his new royal chamber. <laughs> All right, you little laggard. Time to... What? He, he's gone! Mrs. Sourberry, a terrible catastrophe has befallen us. The poor sick prince is gone. Gone? Yes, escaped. I, 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 I mean, wandered off. The fever must have affected his mind. Oh, no! <laughs> you haven't perchance seen any trace of the brat? Uh, uh, my, my beloved nephew. Oh, no, me lady. The only soul I've seen all night was a poor little peasant boy babbling some nonsense about being a prince. Oh, that was he! Oh, the poor dear is so ill, he sometimes thinks he's a peasant and uh, dresses accordingly. Which way did he go? I, I saw him heading for the forest with a strange little toy doll. A doll? I told you he was to have no toys! Ah, uh, well. We'd better go and find my dear nephew and, and see that he's properly taken care of. When we catch that brat, we'll lock him in a prison from which he'll never escape. And then we'll throw his little doll to the fire. Ah! Picked up the scent. Excellent. That little brat Gerard will soon be locked up again. Ha! Ah, here, here, get up there. Here, get up. Here. They're after us. We'll never outrun them. Perhaps we should face them like men. If only we were men. You want to cross that river? You must be daft. <laughs> Hang on, little friend, and try to keep your nose dry. I'm afraid Fang has lost the scent, milady. Then he will just have to find it again. Across the river! I just don't get it. What could have gone wrong? My poor clockwork smurf lying out there broken. Bye, Smurf. I'm gonna get him on his feet again. Huh? <gasps> Papa Smurf! There's a human in the village! <laughs> Please don't be afraid. We mean you no harm. Who are you? And what do you want? I may not look it, but I am a prince. Prince Gerard. <laughs> Tomorrow should be my coronation day as king, but my evil aunt, Lady Imperia, wishes to take the crown for herself. Thanks to your clockwork smurf, I escaped the prison tower in which she's been keeping me. But unless we stop Imperia and her henchmen before it's too late, both my kingdom and I will be doomed. <coughs> Your Majesty, I, Smurf, and I will be honored to help you in any way we can. Yeah! Look at my right! Look at my left! Yeah! yeah. 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 Hold it, Smurf, hold it! First, how about a nice bath and some clean clothes, Prince? 
Oh, thank you. And something to eat? Now you're talking, Fred. Oh. I could use a little midnight snack myself. Follow me. Yes, yes, <laughs> really. <laughs> yes, I uh, just wanted to say what you've done for the prince is really smurfy. A real father couldn't be more proud. Don't worry, my lady. We'll keep the home fires burning for our little lost prince. Hey, gents? <laughs> Splendid! With this brush cleared, no one will be able to pass this way without being seen. <laughs> now I must return to the castle to prepare for my coronation. When you catch the little scoundrel, you know what to do with him. That we do, my lady. That we do. But it was worth it. Smurfs, I believe this glowberry formula will save the prince and his kingdom. Oh, but Papa Smurf, he's no longer a prince. They represent his majesty, King Gerard. Thanks to you all, now I not only feel like a king, I look like one too. Then it's time you return to your kingdom to claim your crown. This glowberry formula will get you safely past your enemies. <gasps> and we will accompany you. <gasps> yes! Ah, Clockwork Smurf, your job is the most important and dangerous of all. You are to run ahead as a decoy to lure Imperia and her men on the wrong course. <coughs> now, the effect of this potion only lasts two hours, so let's get smurfing! <coughs> them before they reach the kingdom. To the horses! We want the prince! We want the prince! We want the prince! We want the prince! My dear people, with the heaviest of hearts, I regret to inform you that last night my beloved nephew, Prince Gerard, passed away in my arms. Oh, no. But just before the dear child slipped away, he whispered his final wish to me, that I, Imperia, take the crown in his place as new ruler of the kingdom. Oh. Hurry, hurry! You're catching up! I hate catching up! Oh, look at Prince Gerard! <gasps> Papa Smurf, what happened? It hasn't been two hours yet. I feared this might happen. I've never had to figure the exact dosage for a human before. There he is! We have you now, you sneaky little whelp! Stand fast! Go! Run fast! We'll handle him! Run him down, men! <laughs> Henceforth, I shall be your majesty, Queen Imperia. Stop! Be 
Prince Gerard. Oh. Prince Gerard. My people, I am very much alive. Princess Imperia kept me imprisoned all these years to trick you into crowning her queen. Oh. 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 Let me explain. I had your best interests at heart. Truly, I did. Wait, stop. You're making a grave mistake. Hey, lady, what's happened? Oh. Hey. Thank you, Smurfs. This happy day is only possible because of you. <laughs> On behalf of my entire kingdom, I present you with this award for your valor and bravery. Long live the Smurfs! Long live the Smurfs! Long live the Smurfs! I'll eat to that. <laughs> We are deeply honored, but in all fairness, this medal belongs to Clockwork Smurf. It is this little doll with a big heart who is the true hero. <laughs> and now, as you begin the business of tending to your kingdom, so we Smurfs must return to ours. Farewell, little Smurfs. I will never forget your kindness. Goodbye, Goodbye. 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 Goodbye Clockwork Smurf. And don't forget to oil your gears. <laughs>